Yeah, we're here. We're here. Yeah. There. There. Yeah. 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 Gently, yeah. gently, gently. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Look. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Done. How do you make that? The, the garlic butter. Uh, okay. It's very easy. You can leave some butter, some garlic, and some parsley. But if you do that, it's going to be too strong, not great enough. So we actually worked out a little recipe. Pascal, I'll give it to you because you're a friend for so long, darling. <laughs> 50 grams of butter, 11 grams of flat parsley, 11 grams of garlic without the stem, times a kilo. That's 50 grams is to do at home to do it with a little knife. And you just blitz it, and then you freeze it. And whenever you need it, ah, you freeze it. Oh, oh, mm. oh. What's that? It's a mess. Plate. It's a mess. What is it? It's on the plate. It's a new plate. Oh, it's, I see. It's an artist. <laughs> please, please let me be. Oh. Oof. Do you paint? <laughs> Badly. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to a paint. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at us. I do think you're the best chef cooking in Britain today. Correct? Oh, yes. I this think you're slightly crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we what like you crazy. Doing, what you only mean slightly. Well, I think... Completely. Yeah, well, no, you... There. Okay. Here we go, see? <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. Now, now, last but not least, and this okay. is the touch of genius for Mr. Poyard. Okay. So is that the gravy you're dipping it into? No, no, it's just the honey, honey. Oh, the honey. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the honey, honey. <laughs> huh? Very nice. And then what happens to the other peppers? These ones. These ones. This one. Yeah. This. Remember, we put uh, black currants. Okay. Let me explain. You want to know what they are, do you? Yeah. I could tell you, but I have to kill you before the program. But I would, I would still and look because it's French a little bit of duck fat. That's the duck fat. So what? What is this one? No, this this one was your normal uh, pepper we uh, we use for the vegetable. Okay. This one is a little spice mix. Remember the five spice went into the honey. Right. Oh yeah. And uh, this one, darling, remember we got <laughs> a black currant. Um, the half cranberries and half uh, black currant. And go. So what's the name of this dish? Peppered uh, venison steak with uh, roasted, honey roasted uh, root vegetable. Looks amazing. And uh, garlic cabbage. Looks fantastic. Bon appetit. Oh. You, you carry that one? I carry this one. Porters! Oh. Porters! My <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's a good that. size for you. Stunning. There you go. Yeah, you don't leave until you take the finish. Big plate. <laughs> no, yes, I do. Have a seat. Beautiful. Yeah. The, 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 the thing, well, oh, but, okay. being, being French, we're hands, but... Mm. Well, the finish is superb. When it comes to games, some people are very particular about the strength of the, the, the gaminess. Yeah. Some, some people love that they game very gamey. Yeah. Some them. And this one is absolutely beautiful. It, it's slightly... Mm. It's definitely... There's no gaminess into it. Yeah. Just a little int. And that's, to the me, that's perfect. The vegetables are great, but I didn't think they would cook long enough, but they have. It's delicious. On a They're perfect. Right, we need some wine to go with this. Let's go. Indeed. What a fantastic this choice is, that is. This is absolutely good match, huh? But yeah. it's a good match. Yeah, it's very good with the venison. And, and it's bringing yeah. the pepperiness. It just bring it, the spice it from the peppers just goes into this yeah. one, and it just and carry lift, on. Yeah. You're enjoying the cabbage with it as well. Yeah. Uh, that is, I've never had cabbage that good. That is, I would be making that again. That is delicious. That's Pretty good. Oh, a sensational. But really uh, wonderful. There you go. Now, Nadia, you're up next. What are you going to be cooking? I don't know if I can follow that act, but I'm doing a spiced biscotti with an orange syllabub dip. Sounds oh. pretty good to me. But first... Great stuff. Right, it's time to complete our feast of festive food with a spot of bacon. And who better to do that than the woman who was victorious at this year's Great British Bake Off in front of 14 million people. It's Nadia Hussain. Right, great to have on the show. Hi. What are we going to be cooking then? We are doing spiced biscotti with yep. a orange syllabub dip. Okay, I noticed how you said we. Yeah, you're going to do most I'm of the work. Yeah, right. you're doing most of the work. Okay, so what are you going to be doing then? First so of all, the biscotti I'll, part. If I do the biscotti, if you chop up the nuts roughly, okay. Chopped. So you've got macadamia nuts and you've got pistachio nuts and in here. Pistachios, yes. Okay. So we've got some plain flour in here. Yep. Some golden caster sugar. 
So was this one of the recipes that you did on the show, or is this a no? I did do a favourite or what? I did do a biscotti on the show, which was very different to this one. Right. But this is quite a good one just to do. So we've got some mixed spice. Um, this is a really good one to do after Christmas when you've got lots of kind of oranges and nuts and fruit around in the house. So I just like doing it just to, and if there's anyone you've forgotten to give a Christmas present to, use all of this up and then make some biscotti and hand it over. Sounds pretty good yeah. to me. Now, how's life been after, after the Bake Off? Because, you know, to do something like that and, and knowing that you actually won it, it goes out, everybody then knows. I mean, your whole life must instantly change. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the bit where I knew that I'd won and then there was the bit where you kind of, it was quiet for a few weeks, yeah. and then the bit when it transmitted, that was the hardest bit, because everybody then kept asking, so you, do you know who won? And then I just like, I just, I just avoided people for about 10 weeks, just didn't invite, <laughs> didn't invite anyone round, just didn't do anything. I was a recluse for about 10 weeks, and then it was all out. So we're using a mixture of macadamia and pistachio nuts. Yeah, you can use whatever you've got at home, really. Yeah. Well, I've made this before with hazelnuts and almonds and that kind of stuff, really. Yeah. But do you think it's all about the texture with biscotti? Because for me, it, it, it is about that texture. You want that slightly dropping consistency if it's too thick. Yeah, I think it has to be quite... It's quite a wet mixture anyway, but I think um, if Paul was here, he'd say, I hope your nuts and fruit are suspended well. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we got the orange zest in here. Yep. OK. There you go. It's a really good recipe to do with anyone who, has, who doesn't bake very much because it's quite an easy recipe. Because I take it, I mean, baking for you, really, uh, when you were younger, did, you, did your mum do it or how did you get into it? I, my mum does not know how to use an oven. Oh, right. she, um, <laughs> she uses it for storage, so... She uses it for storage? Yeah. <laughs> she does. She puts, all her, um, she puts all her frying pans and things in there still to this day. Um, so I'm the only one in the family that actually bakes, uh, which is great, which means I'm the best at home. What made you do the show in the first place? I tried... To, I, I considered applying about two years ago, and then my husband just said, look, you've, you know, what's the worst that'll happen? You know, you won't... You could just give it a go, you know. You, and he, wasn't, he obviously didn't have confidence in me, cos he just said, you know, you, might, you won't even make it to the final 12, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Just give it a go, for, just, just for your confidence. Yeah. And I made it to the final 12, and then only went and won it, so... Um, yeah, I'm glad he asked me to apply now. <laughs> Two equal parts. Yeah. Get most of it off your hand. Yeah. <laughs> the key to this, though, is the texture in it. it Try not to make it too dry. Yeah, so this is quite... It's, a, it's, it's quite a wet mixture, so hence why it's all stuck to my hand. And we'll get two trays. OK, yeah. Thank you very much. There you go. Do you want me to mix the other one up? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do one. Well, the way, the, the way that I would do it is, but, yeah, you can either put a little bit of flour on your hands as well, or sometimes water, don't you, really, to stop it? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of that, but the texture just looks pretty good to me. Two mounds. I beat you. <laughs> Ready, steady. I'll beat you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, straight in the oven. Your strides are bigger than mine. <laughs> so this is the first part. That's the first really? bit. They go in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Yeah. And then you take them out. Take so you out as this one. Take them out. Yeah. And once it's cooled, yeah. you slice it up. Using a serrated knife. You can tell how strong I am. Do you want me to do it? Yes, please. Let's no. <laughs> <laughs> get you to do it. Let's just get you yeah. to do everything. I'll get yeah. started on the syllabub. So we add some cream. Yeah. So this is the syllabub sugar. part, really? This is the syllabub part. So once you've sliced those up, yeah. You stick them in the oven, and that, that's your cue to put it in the oven. Thank that's you very much. That's my cue to put it in the oven, yeah. For 15 minutes we'll till they're we'll nice and crisp. Even after 10 years, I'm still getting told what to do on this show. Now, of course, all of today's, today's studio recipes, including this one from Nadia, are on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. The key to that, though, is drop the oven temperature down, otherwise they brown a little bit too much. Thank right. You. Juice of half an orange, please. Juice of half an orange. Can you do a light lady squeeze? Well, that, that's it. Just yeah. That sounded awful, didn't it? A what? I, I a, lady. a lady squeeze. Yeah, yeah. Not like a really <laughs> tough man squeeze. Yeah. Just, just like as if I was doing it. So, yeah. Well, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> yeah, a bit more. Oh. Yeah, all over me as well. Thanks. All right. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, that was Perfect. Very Is that all right? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you've got in there cream. What have you got in here then? We've got cream, okay. sugar, and um, the ju zest of two oranges. Yep. Bit of the orange juice, and then. And then I'm what's this? Just add a little bit, bit of milk if it gets too thick, but okay. we're getting there. Now, is there going to be a book on the horizon then? I'm assuming there is, if you've got agents and stuff like that, is Yeah, there? I'm working on a book at the moment. Right. Um, and I am writing for The Times. I've so, seen that, yeah. yeah. So I think um, it's just one of those things that I've always written, and I love writing. So yeah. to put the two together, the cooking and the baking and writing, love it. Do you want me to do that bit? Because you're getting sprayed with that as well, I know, you? and I'm wearing black. OK, I'll do that. I'll put it over the Christmas tree. Right, so the idea is we're getting what lightly whipped? Yeah, so soft peaks. Soft peaks. Yes, please. So once these are out of the oven, you just leave them to cool, and they should, they should, they should snap. Okay. Right, this is lightly whipped. Yeah. I think this is ready for you. Doing it nice and soft. And then I'm there with the grater because I know you want some more. Yes, please. On there. top there it is. You want some chopped pistachio as well? Yes, please. Okay. A few bits of those. I feel so relaxed. You're doing all the running around. That's usual on this show, trust yeah. me. <laughs> like that. A few bits of those, and I've got ready with the orange. Thank you very much. So we grate the orange over the top. Like I say, these are perfect for Christmas. You can make them with anything that's left over, almonds, hazelnuts. Yep. Yeah. So give me the name of this dish then. So it's a spice biscotti with an orange syllabub dip. That's what it is. Which one do you want to take? The lightest. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right, over here. You grab a seat. I'll take that off you. Right, Ooh, homemade biscotti. Really nice. Straight into the orange syllabub, guys. Straight in there. I scan. I do. Nice little snap with it as well. Ooh, lovely. Mmm, very good. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, we need some wine to go with this. Let's um, see what Peter and Susie has chosen to go with. Nadia's okay. brilliant. Okay. Cheers indeed. What do you reckon? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're having your nice little cocktail, which is made for you. I I'm having my mocktail. Which, which is, is ginger beer, orange juice. Orange juice, orange rind, and some ginger beer. Delicious. A bit of cranberry in there as well. Yeah. This, on the other hand, slightly expensive. Well, yeah, it's well, worth it, though. You like that? Yeah, oh, it's <laughs> very, nice very nice. I'm having a good old Look at that, it's ticking yeah. me off. How many dipping the biscuits? No, thank God. You're dipping the biscuits. But in, in this, it's just the, it's the orange that you get from yeah. the top. Yeah, oh, yes, definitely. Uh -huh. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. I'm not normally a fan of dessert wine, but this one I probably, I think, was one of my favourites. Yeah, I had mine. Yep. Delicious. Happy with that? Yep, very good. There you go. Right, so we'll... Right, it's time to find out whether Biggins will be facing food heaven or food hell. Food heaven would be an amazing piece of dover sole as well. Beautiful piece of dover sole, roasted with some Morecambe Bay shrimps. These are lovely from Hastings, these dover sole, with buttered new potatoes, a nice little bernoisette butter with lemon and brown butter. We've got some almonds and a little bit of green beans to go mm. with it. Alternatively, Delicious. food hell would be this pile of fatty pork over there. <laughs> uh, Chinese spice spice powder over the top with some salt sugar, marinated, roasted in the oven with some uh, bok choy, which I know you can't stand okay. either, so that's bits wok fried with a nice little palm sugar dressing. Now, of course, we're not live today, and it's Christmas. We're letting fate decide what Biggins gets. Now, you're in Panto at the moment. I am. In Aladdin. In Aladdin, Theatre Royal, Nottingham, yes. And you arrive on a zip wire, is that yeah. right, for the end of the show? Well, I come in, I fly in, yes, as a right. Chinese lantern. OK. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> of course you do, yeah. Of course you do. Well, we've got our very own Chinese lantern. Don't oh. get this too near the hob, because right. it's... it's <laughs> yeah. It might melt. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Aladdin's lantern, so the idea of it... Is to rub it. Is to rub the lantern. Shall I rub it now, James? And wait to see what happens. Right, here we go. Oh, oh, I can feel something happening. <laughs> our very own... <laughs> our very own... <laughs> genie! <laughs> <laughs> what do you look like, Cyrus? Uh, Don't get too near the stove with that chest. <laughs> no end here. Exactly. <laughs> what, now, are you, what are you doing? Uh, there's a bloke called Biggins who rubbed the lamp. I believe I have to be appearing out of smoke when that happens. Yes. You shouldn't have rubbed the lamp, sir. I'm sorry. He's not exactly the right kind of genie you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. 
You've got a surprise in a box. Is it one of these boxes? Well, I'll tell you what's inside these boxes. Each of these boxes has the word heaven or hell in it. Right. So you've got to choose a box and decide.